Hello everyone. It is a wonderful, beautiful summer type day here in Worcester, Massachusetts. We are still in quarantine. But I guess whatever. Can't really do shit about that. Uh, it's not parts unknown. Worcester, Massachusetts. Welcome to Fishburg, Massachusetts. I am Ernie Saperni and this is KW Lodging. We got good matches today. Kissing Cousins in action. Uh, Pete Moore says he's going to start things off. He's going to fight the dishwasher. I don't know why, but. I've actually recently tweaked Dallas, so that's pretty cool. Maybe Kevin Nash knew. If you didn't, whatever. It should be a good match, though. Alright, cool. Match number one starting off. I probably should have said more stuff in there, but I don't really give a shit. So there you go. Woo! -woo. I was sending a text. Take it away, Bruce Buffer. Hmm. There it is. What's happening? Something's happening. I forgot. I'm glitching. Either way, we're showcasing off the. Uh, Oh my god, is Pete not coming down to the ring? Oh, he is! Oh my god, shit, it's his championship motion, but he has the wrong championship motion. Fuck! One fall! Making his way to the ring, representing the triangle. He was never supposed to win. From the United States of America, weighing in at 217 pounds, one half of the Peter Moore. He is the world logic champion. The belt is part of him because uh, it just doesn't work correctly if they're like wearing a shirt. Wear over the shirt. Oh, he's taking the belt off. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, that's not so bad anymore. Nice. That's not a bad entry. Good. I gotta say, if they could just fix the clipping issues, it'd be really, really good. Unfortunately, it was just uh, this is that. But Pete Morrison, he's your new world lodging champion. You're coming in hot off of um, Champions Clash. Sorry, I could not remember what the fuck I called this stupid baby. But uh, upset victory. Pete Morrison took the belt from Josh. He said it needs to be in the Morissette family. You're, you're not representing the logic, right? This one is Dallas Shaw. What's with the angles? And his opponent from the United States of America, weighing in at 185 pounds, Dallas Shaw. The person I've written up at the Colonial, right there. He can tell me to fuck myself. <laughs> I can't remember what happened, but I wrote him up for it. <laughs> Good kid, though. No ambition. And dishwasher the rest of his life. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Just fucking got it. Got it going on. Something's weird with his face, but I don't care. It looks good enough. It's like a chin or his nose is weird. All right, ref says get it all. Gonna do the lockup. Nice, nice traditional uh, start. Pete backs him into the corner. Ref should break it up. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we get a clean break. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sure they'll go right back at it. Oh no! Picks him up and uh, sidewalk slams him. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
I mean, I wouldn't sit down after that one, you know. I'm pretty sure that's the first move and it's not gonna fucking kill him or anything like that. But hey, sure, you're the champ. Nice, STO. Or no, that's not an STO. Is it an STO? What's an STO? Dad, I don't know what STOs are. That's a, that's a fisherman suplex right there. Is that a perfect flex? Is it a fisherman suplex? A perfect flex? I, I, I'm getting old, I don't remember my moves. Chops, woo! I know what those are. They're knife edge. Pin by Dallas right away. One. Ref hitting his dick, only gets one dick hit. Unfortunate. It looked like uh, Pete was going for the sidewalk slam again. Oh, dude, brutal. Dallas drops him on his head. Holy shit. Oh, dude, he's, he's getting it done. Holy shit. Balls, dude. Dallas was killing Pete for a second there. That was a little outrageous. But Pete's got him up now. Is he gonna brain bust or no? Front suplex. Interesting. Interesting. He's he's taunting. He's not even going for the pin. I assumed he would have gone for the pin. Oh, he, he takes him over. Oh shit. Toki's in the light. There we go. Dallas kicks him. Holy shit. Gets him up. Ah, oh, dude, that driver. He's going back to it. Holy fuck. Straight punch. Holy shit. Looks like Pete's gonna actually take him down. Killing him. I don't know if Dallas is going to come up with a win on this one. Oh shit! Downward spiral. Taunts. It may not be good to taunt. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a suicide dive or something. Oh man, he like one. choked, like choked him. He, like choke slammed him, but not really. Two. Like a choke STO. Three. There it is again. Pretty good. Also, Earth starts to count, I do believe. Oh, kick, super kick ish. Half super kick. I do believe it's a 10 count. Four. In, uh, this league. Oh, man. Hope some. Five! Dallas comes back into the ring. Looking to finish this. Oh! Straight punch. Puts him in the, is it, oh no, I thought he was gonna put him in the tree of well. He just fucking, he hit him into the turnbuckle and threw him. I was choking him, ref, get in there. Come on, ref, you gotta stop that. Ah, oh, dick stomp. Pete doesn't give a shit. Setting him up for whatever the fuck his finisher is, I can't remember. That. Oh, oh, Dallas. Oh, he's picking him up. Is he gonna go for a second one? Oh, Dallas reverses it. Pete, you fool. You should have gone for the cover, Pete. See, you guys, you should have done it. You should have done it, boy. Oh, straight punch. Oh, kick again. He's on the outside now. Setting him up for something. Or are you just, just going to beat him up? One. Oh, he goes for the punch, but he doesn't. Oh, work in the face with the knee. Two. Like Pete's a knee striker. I didn't realize I had that maneuver built into Three. it. Oh, leg DDT, which is a move I've never fucking understood. Holy shit, he's got him into a cloverleaf on the outside. He may be dead. And the ref is just telling him to stop it. He's not actually, uh, he stopped the count with a submission. Interesting, interesting. Is he going to reset the count? He's just telling him to stop now. Four. Oh, wow. Interesting. That was a cool mechanic. 
Which is basically what the refs do when you start doing submissions and maneuvers on the outside like that. They're like, stop, Six. and they kind of stop the count. Usually they reset it because, like, it's just a Seven. easy way to get the match to keep going. But, sorry I broke cave it. One. Now let's reset the count. He doesn't want this to end in a non-count out victory. Two. Or he wants this to end in a non-count out victory, sorry. It's not a title match Three. though, so he won't actually uh, be getting the title if he wins, but you definitely know Four. that we get the shot. Oh shit! Oh man, this battle's taking place on the outside Five. right now. It's pretty good. And as I say that, he throws him back inside. Pete, set him up or something? Or just taunting? I think it's just taunting. Oh shit, he's coming back. Oh my god, he's going for the chops. The crowd's going wild. The socially distant crowd's going wild. Ah, he goes for a punch. What the fuck? That was good. Oh, snap German. Cover him. Nope. He's going to go for another uh, face fucker. I don't know what this is called. Oh, God. He killed him. Pin him, Pete. What the fuck are you doing? Pete's throwing the match away. Whenever this happens, they never win. He's hit him with two finishers, and he hasn't pinned him at all this entire match. Kicks him in the corner. Kicking him. Kicking him. Oh my god, he's kicking him. He's kicking the fuck out of him. Oh shit! Dallas gets his finisher off with the pin. Is it just going to be one and done? One, one two, two, three, Pete, you fool! <laughs> Lost to the dishwasher. Oh, you fool. Ah, that's what you get. I now realize that uh, all my other feed stuff is on for when I stream other things. There we go. Okay. Here is your winner, Dallas Shaw. Holy shit, Dallas gets an upset victory over the champ. Know oh, he's gonna get a title shot after that. At least number one contendership. Gianna Morrishead's day. Uh, I don't know if it's her debut, but she doesn't wrestle much because she looks like shit. But I also don't give a shit because Kevin Nash wanted it to happen. So Daddy gets what he wants. I like how this one uh, game lets you put the music on the jukebox as like theme music and stuff. But also then it makes you realize that the theme music don't last as long as uh, other things. Like just like they're not the full song. What can I say? That's all I'm trying to say. No chance in hell you got! Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Wait, what's happening? My audio's cut out. Come on! Come and get it! The following contest is <laughs> scheduled for one ball! One ball! Making her way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Oh, what happened? Oh, there's, uh. Oh, there's nothing else? Okay. She's just from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Woo! I think I gotta fix Gianna's stuff. Okay. 
good to know. Should have tried gas. Got it. Give Tanya new music too. I forgot. We're not in the invasion anymore. She's <laughs> coming out mad. Tanya will fuck you up. I'm pretty sure she quit too. So she's now just married to Josh. I guess I should put her in regular clothes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Woo! Tanya versus Gia. Are they walking up? Yeah, Tanya should just be a spit killer. Unless, like, Gianna throws, like, an absurd amount of money at her, in which case. And by Gianna, I mean Nikki. You know what I mean? Holy shit. That lady's back where we suplex and just starts punching her. Oh my god! Oh, she's dead! Please stop! Ref, stop the match! <laughs> Oh fuck! Holy shit! I was wondering if she was setting her up for that, but she need her in the back of the head. Ref starts to count. Oh my god! Gia just beating the living hell out of Tanya. You just not expected. I didn't. I didn't think she'd be. Oh, now she takes the stairs for a ride. Holy shit! Oh, Gia blocks it. And sends Tanya into the steps. Jesus Five. Christ. Holy <laughs> fuck. Six. This is bad. Those stairs. Seven. Wrap up the seven Tanya trips. <coughs> Excuse the corona. Tanya Eight. on the inside. She may break the count. Yep. Oh, it just clocks her! Holy shit. Two. She just... Holy fuck. Tanya's just, like, doing Three. single move hits. Like, she's just giving her, like, single punches and stuff like that. It, it's Four. no combinations. It's just, like, rough and tumble. Jesus Five. Christ, Gia. Riffs up the Six. six. Oh, she was looking to get posted, but uh, Tanya avoided it and just tripped Seven. on the mat. Those mats are not secure. There's no way in hell you'll ever be able to uh, survive running over those. Let's see the ripples in them. One. Holy shit. Two. Yeah, you're going to regret not putting that punch out. That mechanic's bad. Uh, Dickie, not doing anything to help out her daughter, except for just kind of like cower in the corner, but that's okay. That's alright, you know, stuff happens like that. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, man. That was good, but what the fuck? <laughs> Cover. One. Gets a one count. I figured she'd get a little more than that, but hey, you know, it's alright. Just tosses her. Manhandling her, literally. Jesus Christ! Tanya, smash! Look out, ref! Jesus! This ref out of control. What's happening here? Oh shit! She's got her up. Oh shit! Oh shit! Kick to the back does nothing. She just chests her. Holy shit. She kicks her in the face. Arm drag takedown. 
Gianna's got her in a headlock, but Tiny gets out of it and kicks her in the... Oh, everywhere. Oh, cover. One, two. She gets out of two. Tiny's got to finish her stored up, though. She's going to probably cinch it in right here. This move is probably is extremely devastating. Gianna may never get up, but um, if Nikki's ever going to do anything, it's right here. She needs to distract the ref after this maneuver because Gianna's going to die. Oh. Oh, 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 man. Oh, good night. Cover. Ref gets a... Oh, one, two, three. Oh, my God. Gianna kicks out. Interesting. Tanya says we're going to have to play this game, huh? And she's going to kill her. Yep. Oh, yeah. She's just going to drop her on her neck as much as possible. After that move. Any time for Gianna to come back, it's right now. But it looks like she's just going to get destroyed. Tanya could have easily gone for a cover there, but she decided to pick her up. Oh, she's doing that thing again. I keep thinking she's going to go for a powerbomb, but then she just, like, face breaks her. One, two. two. Kick out of two by Gianna. Nikki doing nothing on the outside. Just literally nothing. Oh, well, no. She's just going, oh, oh, oh my, my sweet daughter. Oh, no. Again, going back to the well with it. She's working the face and neck and balls. Doesn't make sense. Tanya has, I think, three moves, but they're all pretty good. So, and then punch. I guess four. Kick. Five. Oh! Gianna fires back with the rollover DDT. Is it gonna be enough to do anything against the might of Tanya? Oh shit. Oh shit! Uh, what? Yeah, don't get too excited, bro. You hit like two or three moves. Like, you know. It's, oh, Jesus Christ. It's not over yet, but that was pretty good. Yeah, she's excited, huh? Super fucking excited. Alright, though, she's coming back. Interesting, interesting. Super kick, pretty good. Maybe should have gone for the cover. Okay, what can I say, though? Bring it up again. Oh, all right. Go for, stop getting excited. Go for the damn cover. <sighs> all right, she is going for the cover. Thought she was picking her up. Cover. Uno. Dos. Just an explosive five seconds isn't going to be enough. Tanya's been beating the fuck out of you this whole match. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is the rollover DDT her finisher? I don't know what Gianna's finisher is. Ooh, Tanya smartly rolls to the outside. Gianna cannot Whoa. beat her on the outside. Or yes, she can. One. But it can't pin her on the outside. That's it. Yeah, Tanya says, Two. Oh shit, Fireman's Scary Takedown. Three! And another. She keeps going back to the well with that rollover DDT. Four! Into the. Uh, I guess it was the apron that wasn't really the most. Close enough, though. Wait, what happened? What? What? Huh? Huh? What the? Huh? What happened? Did she take out brass knucks? What? Uh, uh, I, I, I legit don't know what happened. I think Tanya took out brass knucks and gutted her with them. Uh, and then the ref saw it and disqualified her. I am not 100% sure what happened considering there's no goddamn replay. But, uh, what? <laughs> that was a good match up until that very second. Hello. Uh, she could have that as one of her abilities, as brass knucks. If the ref is up when you use the brass knucks, you get DQ'd. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Here we are, main event time. K 
kissing cousins versus the Moors. Said, Hello, Tom. It's like behind the pillar over there. Like, hey, it's okay. I'm just hiding. Don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna go get drunk on shift. Try to blow one of the waitresses. I mean, waiters. I mean, what? I don't think Tommy sounds like. event time tag team action kissing cousins coming out first there they are the following contest is scheduled for one fall one fall we got the french On the way tickler to the ring, at a combined weight of 450 pounds the family french tickler john paul and all uh, the Gaelic Grappler, Liam Sullivan. I'm ready to go. I believe they're undefeated in tag team match. Not 100% sure though. Okay. Got John Morrishead, head of the Morrishead family right there. Johnson the Ring accompanied by Tommy Morrishead with Nico Morrishead as his partner. Looking to shut the kissing cousins up. John looks ready. Nico loves it. Tommy loves it. But life. Looks like Liam and Nico are going to start things off. John says, go get him, boy. Gaelic Grappler. Taken down. Should be a good match. Nico goes low. Neckbreaker. Nico doing good stuff. Good stuff. Tagging in John quickly. Stan, I'm tired. I gotta go drink some wine. John smacks the Gaelic Grappler. Start stomping Liam. Who is the Gaelic Grappler? I guess you should just call him one thing, but I don't care. John gonna powerbomb. Yep. Damn. It's impressive. Oh, I thought he was gonna go target John Paul. Tommy pumped on the outside. John has him in a bear hug. Alright. Uh, yeah, alright. Liam's a big boy, too. I've been informed that the Gaelic uh, grappler's weight is incorrect, and I'll have to fix it. It's fine. Punch John. Off the oh, I thought it was off the ropes. He trips him. Oh, uh, John, right up. This is a punch, though. I thought he was going to rake the eye, but he just uh, set him up for a drop kick. John's the outside. I think, uh, yeah, he's going to tag John Paul. I don't know why John Paul went in the ring. I don't know. He's just waiting for him. French tickler. 
Looking fresh. Sends John Moore's head off the ropes. Liam forced to, uh, I mean Liam. Uh, Nico forced to jump down. Should be a low blow. But I guess, oh, whatever. John Paul takes him down. Get back. Paul just beating the back of uh, John Morissette there. I guess I should just call him the French Tickler. It'll get less confusing in this match. He's tickling him. John Morissette takes the French Tickler to the outside. The clothes on. He tags in Nico. Nice and fresh. He's done uh, like three or four moves this whole match. So French Tickler is in trouble here. Two. Uh, although Nico's a little retarded, so he goes to the outside. Ref is going to restart the count. Clocks uh, the French ticker. Ooh, suplex on the outside. Nico looking fresh. He said, mm -hmm. I drink a lot Three. of wine after this. Stomping him. Grab him the. Oh, is he going to do a submission? No, he's just. Uh, oh, man. Four. His arm may be dislocated. Sending the French stick on the inside. Woo! He gets, he's dead. He shouldn't have eaten shit. Gaelic grappler in. Misses a drop kick or it's blocked or something happened there. But Nico's picking him up and suplexing him now. Headbutt. Oh shit. Oh no, John Paul's out on the outside. This could be it. Nico's been known to put people away with this. One. Two. two three. three. No! Holy shit, the headbutt out of nowhere. Nico destroys people with that headbutt. Holy fuck. John Paul was so close. Couldn't get it done. Oh man. Very quick tag match. Very good. Holy shit. They, they, they stole it. Holy hell. Nico unstoppable with that headbutt. John Paul wasn't out on the outside. It would not have been over there, but unfortunately, JP just couldn't get it done. Couldn't get it done. Force it. Victorious. Oh, man. The rich get richer. All right, well, to the victor go the spoils. That is it for lodging tonight. Uh, I don't know if the Pokemon League or Subway is next. I forget. We'll find out.